hey guys welcome back to my channel so today as you can see i did this very blue cool tone situation so if you want to see how i got this look then just keep watching all right guys so let's get started so i'm going to start off by priming my face with the glossier priming moisturizer and then i'm going to use the catrice prime and fine only in these areas right here here basically in my t-zone okay so let's get started so I've mentioned this before but the Glossier Primer Moisturizer is really really good for people with dry skin like it just oh, it just leaves your skin feeling so soft and smooth I love it so next I'm going to use the Catrice And a little bit of this goes a long way. I've heard that this is a dupe to the Tatcha silk canvas, but Tatcha is like 50 something dollars, so I'll probably never find out. <laughs> okay, so let's do eyes first. Let me go grab some tape, because I want it to be nice and sharp. So JK, um, I don't have any tape in here, so I'm just gonna use this little card dilly from Ipsy to just kind of yeah so yeah just get a, a cool tone palette as long as it has like this brown like a dark gray a black and like a navy color um, in the palette you should be pretty good let's get started so I'm gonna prime my lids with the ColourPop no filter concealer I'm going to set this down with the shade here, Nocturnal. So let's start off with this brown shade here. It's called Flip Out. I'm just gonna take this on a fluffy brush and fluff it through my crease ever so lightly like I'm not really applying uh, too much pressure just kind of lightly and slowly building this color up okay next I'm gonna go into this darker brown here I'm gonna put this like on the outer edge and the inner edge and lower down into the crease. Just kind of connecting the two really lightly just a touch lower in the crease. Now I'm gonna take this like navy blue shade here. It's called Silver Spoon. And I'm just gonna take it and gonna put this right on the inner portions right there and I'm leaving this center portion here open now I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and blend this all together Okay. We just kind of want like a like a peekaboo of this navy blue, and I kind of hid my lids just a touch. So I am gonna take just a bit of concealer 
to map out where I'm gonna put my blue. So next I'm gonna take the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Warrior. This came in the ColourPop X Delilah collaboration. This came in the little foursome um, eyeshadow pack that was a part of her collaboration. And um, yeah, that's the star of this blue look. I did a, a video on the ColourPop X Delilah collection. I'll link it up above so you can go and check it out if you haven't seen it already. But um, here's what that beautiful blue looks like. So, yeah. Now I'm just going back over this part with my finger to just make the blue stand out a little bit more. So my camera cut off, but all I did was go around this blue with this navy blue again, just to make sure that it blends all together. Okay, so I've already primed, so I'm gonna use the Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Foundation. I just got this, I've never tried it before, so hopefully it's okay. I think that it's like a supposed to be like a soft matte finish. Hopefully it's not too matte, otherwise my dry skin is gonna be crusty crust. I'm in the shade Golden 312. So I'm not sure how much of this you need. Okay, so she's thick. Let's just start with one pump. I think I did a pretty good job color matching. Um, the next shade looked really orange, and then the shade before this looks like it will be too light. So I just picked this one. And I'm just gonna blend it down my neck just in case the camera is playing me. And I think that this looks better than what it actually does. Okay. <laughs> so, two pumps, pretty good. It looks pretty full coverage, which I think that it is a full coverage. Wait. It, I think I said full coverage in the name. <laughs> so for concealer, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and I'm using the shade sand. I know this is too light, but I'm gonna use it up. And then when I run out, I'm gonna go get the right shade. It's really hard to pick out concealer shades, especially in this concealer because like, I don't know. It was really hard for me to pick a shade. I do wanna sharpen it, but, okay. So since this con concealer, since this foundation is kind of matte, I'm not gonna set it. Um, that's, that's just what I'm gonna do because I have dry skin, so yes. So I'm gonna set my under eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in medium. Tap, tap, tap. And set <laughs> for bronzer I'm taking the physician formula butter bronzer in deep bronze deep bronzer excuse me
For blush, I'm taking the Tarte Blush in Thrilled. Looks like that. I'm just using like this big fluffy brush to just kind of fluff the blush. I just want it to kind of melt into the bronzer. Sorry if the light is changing. It's kind of cloudy outside today. And I'm using natural light. Okay. For highlight, I picked this up not too long ago. I haven't really seen anybody talk about it. It's the Models Own Glow For It Illuminator Drops. And I got mine in the shade Lit. And it's like, comes in this little dropper. So I'm just gonna do a little dot here. And this is what it looks like. So, I'm gonna use this. Actually, you know what? Let me finish my under eyes first. Getting ahead of myself. So, I'm going to take Silver Spoon. That's that navy blue. Then I'm gonna take um, just a small pencil brush and go into swoop and just focus this on the outer edge. Then I'm just gonna blend it out. Okay, so I did my brows off camera with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. Then I'm just gonna do a little bit of mascara with the Superhero It Cosmetics mascara. If you're good at lashes, lashes would be really cute with this look. But I also tried to apply some of those off camera and yeah. On to highlight, taking the model's own Glow For It Illuminator Drops in Lit. Let's apply this with Beauty Blender. Ooh. Just put a little under my brow. That's really pretty. I think it goes with this look really well. And I literally just took like a drop. I just want the tiniest bit on my nose. Okay, and lastly for lips, I'm taking Kat Von D Bow and Arrow. If you have like a neutral um, brown, it would go really cute with this look. Like a neutral brownie nude. Hmm, do we need a gloss? Hmm, let's leave it like it is. So I'm gonna set with MAC. Okay, so this is the final look. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.